Hi there everybody, my name is Anthony Crane and usually I am here to teach you how to cook for one. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. I had a little bit of a fright this year. I'm the kind of guy who has never had a sick day, never calls in sick to work. I've had one sick day honestly since I was 15 years old and out of nowhere, it felt kind of funny, went to the doctor, she drove me in her own car to the hospital with heart failure. Now I'm all completely recovered. They also discovered that I had cancer and had to remove it, and now I am fully 100% healed. However, I did have to make some adjustments to my diet, at least temporarily, the biggest of which was how to eat low sodium. So not only am I cooking for one, I had to also figure out how to start to reduce my sodium intake. Today, I'm glad to say I don't actually have to do that anymore, but it became such a natural thing that I actually feel like it's something that I'm going to do long term. I lost 44 pounds just by doing this low sodium thing and I guess uh, some of the fasting in the hospital. <laughs> but uh, 44 pounds later, I'm feeling great. I haven't gained any of it back. And uh, and this is only a few months ago, by the way. Um, so I want to show you not just how to cook for one and not waste ingredients and be happy and excited about that sort of lifestyle. But also, I want to show you some tricks on how you can cut back on your sodium a little bit. And, uh, and be a healthier eater. The cooking for one lifestyle already puts us in touch with how much we're eating because you're only cooking for one person, so you know you're getting all that that you're putting in. Um, but this is, a, this is a really big challenge for me. How to keep eating everything I wanted without having to give up on anything at all. Bagels, cream cheese, and lox is one of my favorite examples. Like that normally would have 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams, and that's all I could have in a single day. Two grams or 2,000 milligrams, that's it. So one of those sandwiches and I'm done. But I still wanted to eat that. It's like a good sandwich. It's one of my favorites, you know? So uh, I grew up in New York. It's good food. So I had to figure out how to do it, and I did. For example, for this particular one, half a bagel. A whole bagel is a big salt bomb. I had 400 to 500 milligrams of sodium. That's right there a quarter of your whole day. So half a bagel, you've just cut that down. Furthermore, I found a bagel that was only 200 milligrams. It's another trick. You have to find things that are unusual. I've seen tortillas that are five milligrams or zero milligrams, and I've seen corn tortillas that are as high as 200 milligrams. So you do kind of have to look. It's very surprising how the same exact product can be such a big difference in its sodium level. So anyway, I want to teach you some techniques for managing your salt. You can apply those same techniques to calories. It's, it's actually kind of cool. I still want to teach you how to cook for one because that's my passion and that's what I've had to do most of my life because, you know, I don't have someone cooking for me and I love to eat. Don't love to cook, by the way. Love to eat. And so I cook a lot. Uh, I'm actually cooking Thanksgiving dinner for 16 people this year. Well, what else? Um, if you join me on this adventure, you're going to learn how to eat healthy. You're going to learn how to never throw away ingredients. Um, and I'm going to show you all kinds of tricks uh, for you know, increasing the variety in your foods as well. So I hope that excites you. My name is Anthony Crane and I'm cooking for one.